All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Deus Ex Revolution. Let's go down the funicular. I'm beginning to think that not everything is what it appears to be at Pike's communications. And what gave you that idea? The hidden sub basement, the fact that a 24 hour news network has been cleared of all workers, or the heavily armed guards trying to kill me? Spare me the sarcasm. I'm talking about how easy it's been to bypass the firewall and access their systems. At least, parts of them. Whatever do you mean? I mean, I feel as if I'm being directed to some areas of the network and kept away from others. Only no security system I know of can do that on the fly. Figure it out later, Pritchard. If I'm gonna catch Miss Kassan in action, I need a more accurate destination than the secret lair. The hollow processing cloud you encountered in room 404 was accompanied by a massive power spike. The spike originated in one of the sub-basement's bigger rooms, 80211. I suspect that's where she broadcasts from. Okay, so... Oh, man, this elevator ride is so long, even after the conversation ends. Anyway, uh, because there was not a lot of stealth in the... The last part, uh, I'm gonna make f up for it by going through this whole section completely undetected. Uh, I'm gonna admit it's been a while since I've played this. Uh, I've been playing Grand Theft Auto 5, but thankfully I had a lot of parts of Deus Ex recorded, about uh, 15 days worth of uploads uh, pre-recorded, so those were uh, uploading daily while um, while I was uh, testing that game out, which I love. I'm doing a Let's Play in it right now if you guys want to check it out. But anyway, we're playing Deus Ex. Uh, you first, you want to stay away from this camera, but you do want to get this pocket secretary. Read it up real quick, just to get the code. And also be cautious, because there are two people down there at the end. And we're going to do a double takedown on them once they make their way over here. And the cool thing about that is, they're going to see us, but they're only going to go hostile for a fraction of a second, so it doesn't really disrupt our ghost bonus. And um, uh, we're going to be uh, taking them down when the camera's on its outward swing towards that wall right there. So we're going to be able to drag their bodies behind this couch before it comes back over. And I really wish I could say that's the most complicated part of this stealthing through here, but it's not unfortunately it gets a lot crazier what's up guys twins huh our orders are straight from the lady herself shoot on sight if you see Jensen it's Who's swinging back this she way doesn't get a hold of him. she wants blood one two good <laughs> Bop. and you really want to do this quickly really carefully the camera can't hear anything thank god but um yeah you really want to do that quickly like that was probably the closest I ever came to being caught right there anyway access code for you I don't know what half of these access codes actually go to but they're access codes nonetheless alright wait for that camera to <laughs> And it's gonna pass back over, and we're gonna whoop, knock knock. It's Adam Jensen. Oh, and it got suspicious, but we ducked away just in time. Come down here, and uh, you want to go up to the left first to initiate a conversation, because if you've been playing this game. Or if you've been following long enough, you know that some people only start the patrols after you hear them say something to another person, like when we go over here. Oh. Okay. So I, I thought opening that would um, initiate it, but uh, apparently it just did it all on its own, which is fine for me. We're going to go through here. Oh, actually, I don't think you need to initiate that at all. My bad. Sorry, guys. <laughs> We're going to open this door uh, before that guy. Um, uh, so you do it when he's not looking. But we want to do it before 
he starts coming back this way because we're going to run right under the camera and knock him out as he's walking up these stairs. Ninety nine. Oh, don't strangle him. I really hope he doesn't fall into the camera lens. He shouldn't. No, he didn't. That camera's stationary anyway, by the way. Doesn't move. We're going to be shutting all these down. All these cameras. No cameras. I don't like my picture being taken. Oh. Just going to sneak our way. Oh, can we do it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, you want to come in here? Look at this computer. And we'll get an access code right here to, I believe, the next room over. I could be wrong. There's a lot of different computers and a lot of different passcodes to get into them here. So I'm going to try to do my best not to miss any. Close the door behind us. What do you got in here, huh? Nothing. Oh, painkillers, yay. Give me some. Oh, crap. Give me some. Thank ya. Plug for it. Oh! Wait, did I do it? I think I got it. <laughs> um, I believe this was the access code we picked up in the beginning on the couch. I forget what that other access code is we just found, but I believe it's important. This one just turns off the one in the hallway in front of us, but we're going to need that. Uh, you can blow this door open. I don't recommend it. We'll be getting the code soon enough. And we want to... Oh. We want to alert a guy who's in there. Let me see. Where is he? It was all the way down at the other end, so... Let's see if we can alert him in a second. <laughs> Really? Well, why don't you come over here and check it out, huh? I dare ya. I promise I won't poke oh. out the second I see your kneecap and knock you out. You better come out. I lied. I'm sorry. <laughs> just a white lie. Just a bit of a fib. Alright. And let's drag your sorry hide over here. And don't worry. We have a friend who will be joining you very shortly. You won't have to be lonely for long. Is this a shotgun? Nah, it's a cruddy combat rifle. Anyway, hide along here. Don't worry about that camera. It's actually a level down, despite what the mini-map says. And this guy is gonna come over here, pick his nose. By pick his nose, I mean like swat at things that aren't really there. Do it. Oh no, he's, he's gonna rub his shoulders. Those robotic arms must get pretty sore, huh? carrying around that like two pound rifle be careful because um he will do that once he gets halfway through here he will do that uh stop look what's that sound everybody turn around while you're walking <laughs> he'll stop and turn around he does it on the way uh towards you and he does it on the way away from you so just be careful for that and you want to be careful there's quite a few people downstairs and by quite a few i, I think three Anyway, we're just going to move this guy over here so we can take out his buddy in peace. Uh-huh. You relax here. You got anything on you? Yeah, some credits. Thanks for donating to the Adam Jensen Fund. It'll go to good use, I promise. It won't get used at all. Really don't need to spend money on anything anymore. Alright, let's pick up these credits and uh, what's in here? Uh, we're going to have to hack this one, but it's pretty pretty easy actually no I don't I don't think we need to um, that might come back to haunt me but we'll see in a minute don't worry let me just check my already found secretary okay no I believe the secretary the pocket secretary with the code to that is in this room I could be wrong, but I do uh, remember having to hack at least one or two terminals to turn off uh, those cameras. Uh, is it this one? Is this a pocket secretary? Where is it? 
There it is. Is this the one I'm looking for? No, this is the code to the armory. Okay. Let's just search these. What's in here? Credits. Cyber Boost Pro Energy Bar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So we're gonna have to hack our way into that. That's okay. Totally fine with that. In a minute. <laughs> so now that we have the code to the armory door, we'll go to the armory door, not the computer. It's 1980. Yeah. There we go. So we got some revolver ammo, sniper rifle ammo, typhoon ammo. Oh, put that away, Adam. <laughs> uh, and a cooling system. I believe it's for the heavy rifle, because here we have some heavy rifle ammo. I'm not using that, so I'm not going to pick it up. You guys feel free to if you're using it. I recommend getting the stable, the aim stabilizer augs. It probably really help with that. It, uh, you can make it so there's like a hundred percent less recoil. So I guess it means there's no recoil. That would be pretty useful. That sounds like really powerful if you get that uh, put into an upgraded rifle. Anyway, this one's pretty easy. Just gonna redo it. Yeah, we're good. I'm gonna go straight for the diagnostic subroutine. Oh wow. This is oh, it took a couple seconds. And we got him. Access granted. 50 XP, and now we can turn off those cameras downstairs and deal with these guys accordingly. So there's three of them down there. And what do you do when there's three of them? Quite simple. Use the old box method. <laughs> you want to crouch down? And you want to bring it over to the next side, or this side first, because you want to aggro the people from this side and not the other one. So let's just quickly... What was that? And then close it, open it from that side, hide right here. And that guy's going to come up here to check it out, and um, <laughs> you won't know what hit him. I'll give you a secret. It's my fist. I think it came from around here. You're totally right. You're rewarded with a knuckle sandwich. Sort of like the heel of my hand sandwich, I guess you could say. And since those cameras are turned off down there, we can just pop these dudes. Because... I tried before. Um, I actually did some pretty uh, funny maneuvering around the cameras and stuff while they were still active and I knocked these guys out and still managed to get through and drag their bodies out of the way. It was pretty uh pretty funny but um it was just a lot of unnecessary like sneaking. I it's whatever. Where where is that guy? I can't see him. Is he where is he? Do I oh no there he is. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna wait till he comes up and I'm gonna pretty much follow him when he turns around. Yep, keep walking. I should have just went down the stairs at first because if you stay along this thing, if you stay along this side right here, you can get away with some pretty funny stuff. I'm gonna make sure he doesn't do that turn around thing. And he does! You sneaky prick. hide right here. I'm gonna wait till he turns around. Just gonna follow right behind him and knock knock. Oh. Nighty night. Okay, he's down. 
means now we have the opportunity to take down his buddy. I'm going to wait till he gets closer so I have a better shot. I'm just going to do a peek a boom and shoot him. Or peek a pew. Because it's silenced. Get it? <laughs> Thumbs up for shitty jokes. Nope. <laughs> He's down. All the cameras are off. We're good to loot this whole place. Pep's energy pack. That's cool. Um. Yeah, well, I, I, it's pretty confusing. I look at some of these computers. I'm like, can I? Oh no, I can't access it. Let's just go through all here. Oh, right. Put the gun away. We don't need it for a minute. Credits. Nothing. More credits. Yeah, credits are really just kind of useless to me at this point in the game. I have all the guns I need. I have um, I don't have I have like eight Praxis points, so I can still get more perks, which I will spend, but only when I feel like I need them. I don't really feel like I need them right now. Uh, uh, uh. Da, 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 da. There we go. Um, bum bum bum. Got all that. What's what's this way? I, I don't remember for the life of me. Oh, it's right back here in this hallway. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this place is kind of a maze at some times or at some points. Anyway, there's that camera. No need to even shoot it or deactivate it. It'll set off an alarm. And we're right back up to that other part we were at. Now, uh, yeah, we got everything in there. Now let's um, let's go to the next portion, which is through this corridor right here. <laughs>